Hi guys, I'm back. I thought I'd just um, try to show you guys the uh, the painting with the uh, ethanol. So what I'm doing now is doing the background. As you can see, I'm going to try to do this pretty quick because um, otherwise I'd have to do it in a couple of takes. And I'm just... Um, I, I really don't want to do that because it takes so long to um, to upload. When you stick two uh, or three videos together, YouTube has to uh, do something with those uh, files, stick them together or something. I don't know what they do, but it takes a couple of hours to get it uploaded. So I thought I'd just do it like this. So what I'm using is um, Vallejo Fluid. And as you can see, these, these colors are amazing because they are so highly pigmented. Um, I really like to use this paint. Don't know why. Just sort of love it. I guess because of the, uh, the, the vibrant, vibrancy of the colors, something like that. Okay, now we have the background done. And of course, you have to speed this up. So I bought myself a new uh, hair dryer. And, okay, turn the sound down. Now that was pretty fast. As you can see, it's uh, totally dry. Now what I'd like to do is uh, put a layer binder on it. So uh, I have some binder. I'm going to clean off the brush and put some binder on. And as you can see, you still can see straight through it. Uh, although the color is a little bit tempered. But let's see if we can get that nice and covered. Maybe a tiny, tiny bit of water to help it. And this is just, you know, to show you um, what that stuff does. It's not, you know, that I'm going to make something really beautiful here. Oops, a little bit of blue. Okay, that's about it. And we're going to dry it again. have to do. Now I'm going to come in with a, um, a very dark color. Let's see if this one is better. Yeah. Um, I'm going to come in with this one, the 404. Shaking it up. Getting a new cup. I need another cup because I got my uh, ethanol cup. <coughs> so putting some paint in and I'm going to clean up my brush first. Now I'll just get a new one. I'll clean the brush later. Putting, Adding a little bit of water in here just to make it just a little bit more fluid. Okay, I think we're ready to go. 
Now this layer, you got to do it fast, and um, you, you don't, you're not supposed to let it dry. And before I do that, I'm going to get some ethanol. Put this in a cup. See, here it goes. I'll show it in a bit. Okay, I think we're ready. And we just put that on top here. And make sure it doesn't dry. There we go. Nice long strokes. Getting everything covered. Now we come in with the other brush. Make it short the water is out of it. Now I, I'm dipping it in the ethanol. Look at that. Small ones here and there. Ta-da! <laughs> yeah, well that's the, uh, that's the science behind it. So what you need is a really bright um, background first. Then you put some binder over it. Make sure it's totally covered. Make sure that the first layer and the second you dry them in between. Then you put on um, a watered down darker color and then you can do this. And you can do this as long as you like. And if you like, say, you don't like it, which sometimes happens, if you do it quick, you can still see some of that ethanol doing its thing. But then I dip it back in there. This time I'm, I'm doing it from far away. So to get little, little spicks like that, or what you can do is uh, get a toothbrush, get that one a little wet, and then do really tiny ones, which you will probably not be able to see, but for some paintings that's just to, you know what you're looking for a little smaller and then maybe up here a little bit bigger ones I'll zoom you in a little bit and I'll do the top bit let's see if we can line you up so you can see that there you go and it still works but you um, already see that when it's starting to dry, that's when it when the effect stops. But this is really gorgeous. Can you see how beautiful that is? And for a background, this is just awesome. So that's the technique. I'll show you the bottle. See, this is a bioethanol, 95% ethanol, and this stuff is so freaking cheap, but be careful because it's highly flammable, so don't, you don't want to do anything crazy to it with fire or torching or that kind of stuff, don't do it. Okay, now we have this, and I'm hoping that I can let it dry a little faster.
I, I, I would prefer to let it really dry because there's still a little bit here and there it's a little wet but for the sake of um, this experiment um, what I'd like to do is get some white And some pouring medium and I might use this yeah I got some some iridescent uh, white in here too so that's that a little bit of pouring medium then I'm getting my brush mixing it up a little here Now, what I'm looking for is a really, and I'm using not titanium white, but I'm using the mixing white because that's transparent. Now, what you could do, but I'm not going to do it because then I have to think about things, but what you can do is put a layer on top, like this. And i got to get my little rag. And if you pull it down like that, and a little bit of water on my brush, like you're um, shadowing. I don't know if you know what I mean, but you know, where you put the paint down, you leave that and you just pull down the paint so that it gets lighter and lighter and lighter. Just like that. Don't know if we can, oh yeah, you can see it. Now, then you create an illusion of um, something, you know, coming up and something going down. And if I were to do, wait for this to dry, and then I come in with a other color, which will probably be too, um, let's see if I can put some water in there and a little bit of pouring medium. I think that might work. Now if you go the other way and you make the other part darker, see that? Then all of a sudden you can take pieces out of your background, accentuate them, and start building up a picture. And maybe that's not as clear as I'd like to make it because that's just, you know, stripey thing. But you could also come in here and make believe that this was a, be a really big flower. And of course this is just for the sake of showing you guys what you can do. Okay, a little bit of water, pulling it down a little bit. And I'm trying to do this really fast that the video isn't too long, like that. Then, you come in with the dark again because we want to make that pop up and the other one pop down so then you come in with a little bit of darker stuff and sometimes you'll have to do a couple of layers and this has all to do with uh, shadowing and sometimes um, it's nice to get some sort of a, um, a book if you don't know how to shadow because if you do that, your art will uh, improve a lot if you know what shadowing is. But just so you have the idea that something comes up and something goes down, and that's how you can take all sorts of pretty things out of this. And um, I'm, I'm sure you get what I'm what I'm going for. So then I'd come back in with this one, do a second layer, 
I'm sticking to the to the piece. I I I'd, I'd rather do this sitting down because you know you oops. <laughs> now look, we have a disaster. <laughs> Doesn't matter. It's just for the sake of um experimentation. So um if you know what I mean, know what I'm going for, I'm pretty sure you can replicate this. So all in all, this was a fun ex experiment. Too bad I pulled off a little bit of paper here. <laughs> but this is a uh, acrylic paper. It's pretty thick. And uh, you could do everything with this. You could make, uh, again, bookmarks. You could use it for jewelry. You can do so many things with this. And the whole experiment is based on, first you put down a really light color. So anything that is very light, yellow, a very bright pink, anything you want. Then you put binder on it, just spread it out, a little bit of binder, and wait for it to dry. Both layers, you have to wait for it to dry or help it with a hair dryer. Then when that is all dry, you put on a layer of contrast color, which is much darker, and you really water that down. That's the thing. Then as long as it's wet, you can come in with your uh, bioethanol and you drip on it, and that's what happens. And when that's dry, you can come in with uh, darker or lighter colors and make things come up out of this painting. So uh, I hope you have some idea of what I tried to do. And right now I'm thinking that could be a really beautiful heart. If I had a clean brush, I'd show you, but okay, let's see. See, I just come in here and make it really look like a heart. And I'm sure I've, I've given you a lot to think about with this and some idea of what you can do. And that's what the channel's for. Giving people ideas and letting people explore their artsy side. See that? Then we come in with a with the dark one again. And you still see the background, but you know, just a little bit less so it resembles a little bit of a shadow. Might even put one over here. And as I said, you know, when you do this, do it when you're sitting down and, you know, with a little bit more <laughs> or a zen feeling to it. Because I just wanted to do this fast so you could see what I was uh, talking about. Okay there. Oh yeah, there was someone who um, asked me, you know, the setup you have in your studio for your iPad. Can you show it to me? So I'm going to show it to you. Uh, the, the whole thing is... Um, just a frame, as you can see, it has legs, and uh, it's important that here, that that is long so it doesn't tip over, because the whole thing is pretty small, or, or um, narrow, so you don't want it tipping over. And here you have, see that, on this side? Uh, I'd make it just a tiny bit smaller than the table, because sometimes when I'm pushing stuff, I almost push it off the table. So that's that. Then my husband is someone that uses a lot of screws. <laughs> See that? How many screws? You know, you could put an elephant on top of this and he wouldn't <laughs> go through it. So when I go back, as you can see, it's just sort of, yeah, I don't know how you call it. He made this little thing in between. You can um, see that this moves. So if you put a couple more on there, like if you were to, there's my hand there. If you were to do a couple more, you could even adjust your, um, adjust the iPad that you can go lower. Right now I can use the top one and the second one, but I'd like one a little bit more um, lower so that I can, when I do these things, that I can really show you up close. It's a lot better. 
see that? That stuff has something to it, you know, and you can do this on a uh, canvas too. <laughs> see, there I am talking about the painting again. But you can do this on canvas too. So um, then I have three of these lights. They're daylight lamps. And they don't work that well because, you know, you get that um, glare on, on your paintings when stuff is wet. So in my new studio, I'll be buying those big um, sort of like pillow things, you know, diffusers, so that you won't have any trouble seeing what I'm doing. So that's about it, guys. So I'm going to put this one up on YouTube. And um, I'm going to be doing a pour, but that one's for tomorrow. Uh, what I really like to do... Uh, and I have to clean up, of course, because as you can see, I can hardly do anything. Here my uh, painting is uh, drying quite nicely, as you can see. All the cells intact, didn't move at all. That's another thing I like about the Vallejo, Vallejo paint. Um, it, you know, when you are ready, you're ready and it stays, the cells stay intact. And I really like the way the cells went in this one. See that? With the darker, that darker bit there. I, I really like that. Uh, but I want to do one with a little bit more turquoise. So here's a little more Bahayos. Um, I want a little bit turquoise and then a little bit of a rusty burnt cyan color and maybe a touch of green yeah and then with the gold flakes so I've got to make gold flakes first and then use the um, use the rest okay thank you all for watching been a long video again sorry about that but I'm looking around if I did I forget to show you something no I don't think so so thank you all see you in the next video love you all bye bye